What does this award mean to you? It's quite an honor to be elected to the first Chamber of Commerce Hall of Fame. Uh, my father came here to Cooperstown in 1950, and my brother and myself have been here ever since. In 1993, we're fortunate to have Rob Makowski join us. He has proven to be a valuable asset. And so what would you like to say to the Cooperstown community? Well, thank you very much. <laughs> we hope yeah, to we, continue support. Yeah. We couldn't have done it without him, that's for sure. We're open seven days a week, 365 days a year, including holidays. We have been successful due to many of our local customers who have chosen to support small business. Well, it's the community that put us where we are. I mean, it, if it, we help the community, the community helps us. You can't have one without the other. So, without exactly. over 100 years of them, there wouldn't be over 100 years of us. So, great, very grateful. And we give back a lot to the community too, as far as donations and. Uh, yeah, I kind of equivalate equivalent this, this this induction to like the 1939 Baseball Hall of Fame with uh, <laughs> Babe Ruth and uh, Honus Wagner. And, and, and what does uh, the village and what does the surrounding area of Cooperstown mean to you? It's been my home for me since coming here shortly after birth. I've been here ever since, basically because I just love it here. There's so much to do. We have a beautiful lake, a championship golf course, a sports center, many museums, a great school and hospital, and a wonderful volunteer fire department. And besides being around for over a hundred years, what would you like everyone to know about Church and Scott? We hope to be here for another hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> hope for their continued support. Yeah. Wonderful. Yep. I'd say much of our success is because we care about people who go out of our way to provide the best care at a fair price in a friendly atmosphere, and thanks in particular to our great staff. And so how long has it been? It's been over a hundred years, but what do you, what do you guys say? It's been since 1880-something? Uh, 1875. 1875? Uh, Henry Church uh, partnered with uh, Sands Shumway back in 1875, that's as far back as I could fine so far, but still doing a little more digging, but mm -hmm. so it's been, uh, I thought we had 1886, now you're going back to... Well, it was Henry Church, so yeah. it was in a different location too, close enough. I've heard a little bit about your famous jelly beans, so I was wondering if maybe you could share the story of the jelly beans. The official story or the unofficial story? <laughs> <laughs> um, we've been doing it for a long time, they've become a staple. People around Easter time always look forward to our jelly beans. So we have them delivered once a year, and uh, it's begun going back to probably the 1950s, I would say at least. And we buy them in bulk and and bag them ourselves, and they're very good. <laughs> you ought to try some. <laughs> <laughs> have you been getting them from the same source, or yes, yes. Yeah. since since the 50s? I would say so. Yeah. Wow.